Happiness Creativers presents a word for every generation that knows no fashion. Greetings, I hope and trust. I find you all my dear friends. This is a sequel from our presentation last Monday on unusual attractions. For this morning, we want to look at the devotional titled Attract the Best. Attract the Best. I invite you once again to the book of First Chronicles. We're still at chapter 12. We want to begin reading at verse number 8. The King James Version provides as follows. Some Gedites defected to David at his stronghold in the desert. They were fighting men, trained for battle, expert with shield and spear. Their faces were like the faces of lions, and they were as swift as gazelles on the mountains. These Gedites were army commanders. The least of them was matched for a hundred, and the greatest of them for a thousand. These are the men who crossed the Jordan in the first month when it was overflowing all its banks and put to flight all those in the valleys to the east and to the west. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word as always. Let us spend a moment together in prayer. Kind and gracious Father in the heavens above, dear Lord, we want to attract the best this very morning. How I pray for the enterprises where we are at. As we seek to set them on the right course to recovery, may you be the one to point us the direction in which to walk. As we look at these five pointers on what to look out for, may you talk to us through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. My good friends, as the custom is, we raise just five points. And what do we look out for when we want to get the best of the best? At point number one, you want to look at men and women who are trained, prepared and educated for delivery. Just like these Gedites, they defect not to a place that is comfortable, but to the desert. And when they get there, they are defined and described as follows in the word. They were fighting men, trained for battle. Most of us, we have the fight in us, but we lack the training. Some of us, we have the training, but we do not have the fight in us. When you get a blend of the two, someone who has a passion, someone who has a conviction, somebody who is self-driven and above all, they have gone to school for it. They have the expertise. At point number two, not only are these men trained, we also want to make sure that you're getting people who are experts. And what makes them experts? They are the best that is available for the task at hand. These are men who use both the shield and the spear equally good. I want us to look at the figurative application of this. These men are experts with the shield. They block. They are experts with the spear. They attack. We want to look at people who are defense strategists, but you also want to look at people who can be on the offensive. Because when, when we look at some people, they are so good at maintenance work. They are good at maintaining the status quo. They cannot be innovative. They cannot think outside the box. They cannot improvise. You need people who can use the spear. Innovators. You want to take people who can take a leading role. Those are the spear users. They are on the attack. They can think of new ways to penetrate the market. You need people who are like that. Attract the best. Do not just look at those who can look at how they can maintain things the way they have always been. At point number three, without much ado, you want to make sure that you're looking at men who are swift, who are efficient, who are effective, men who've got grip. The Bible says their faces were like lions and then they were as fast as gazelles on the rocks of a mountain. What does a gazelle do? A gazelle will be on the flat terrain as the lions or whatever marauding animal is going after it. On the flat terrain, it doesn't fare so well. But what, that, what it does is that it runs towards the mountains. On that uneven terrain, the gazelles will start hoping from one rock to the next and leaping higher and higher and higher. When I'm saying attract the best. Who are the best? Those who can go to unfamiliar terrains, uncharted territories where there is no pathway, they find paths. They create a path where there isn't any 
They thrive where others will not thrive. That is the best you can attract. Go for such and you will never be wrong. Go for such and you will never regret it. And above all, these men were men of battle. These men were army commanders. Why were the army commanders? It was because of the value they brought on board. The least of them was one to a hundred. That was the ratio. And the greatest of them, one to a thousand. So if you had 30 commanders as David had, the greatest of them, there were three of them actually, or five of them or so. You look at those, you simply multiply by a thousand. That is what they were worth. Bring people who are worth a lot to the establishment, to the organization, not just people who do not contribute more than the head count. What else would be lost if you left the enterprise today? You want to look at people and say, I cannot lose this one. If I lose this one, I have lost a hundred. If I lose this one, I have lost a thousand. And at point number five, you want to look at people who have a track record. That is why you ought to have a referee in your curriculum vitae. That is why there need to be a reference check. The Gedites were men who crossed the flooded river. Not only did they cross the flooded rivers, they sent the inhabitants of Canaanite territory running helter-skelter to the east and to the west. They did not spare any. These were men who had a track record. They did not even wait many months to get this done. The Bible says they crossed the Jordan in the first month. In the first month. These are men who know that when there is a job, it ought to be done and done perfectly and done early. They went out in the first month, not the 12th month, not the, not the 10th month or the 5th month, but the first month. They did not wait to get it done. Having crossed, they put to flight all the Canaanites, those in the valleys, to the east and to the worst. There's a man who have a track record. As you go out to attract the best, I want to encourage you. I also want to give you these few pointers. You want to look for people who are trained. You want to look for experts. You want to look for people who are swift and efficient. You want to look for people who are valuable and add value. You also want to look for people who have a track record. These are the five things that I'll recommend for you. As you go out to attract the best, others are attracting love. Go out and attract expertise, skill, training, value, and track records. A moment to pray with you and bless you before you go your way. Kind and gracious Father in the heavens above, I pray for these attractors as they go out, dear Father, having listened to this audio, may you guide their footsteps. Lead them towards the spaces where they need to be. I pray, dear Lord, that you may impress upon their minds to choose people who set their establishments in courses that are uncharted and even elevate them from great heights to dizzier heights. Until you meet again next Friday, Keep us in the safe and hallow of your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless.